It was among the issues cited in the crash of Flight 3407 in Clarence Center. The FAA has now come up with a proposed rule to deal with pilot fatigue. More now from News 4 investigative reporter Luke Moretti. This is a big deal for us. In Washington, Transportation and, uh, Secretary Ray LaHood and FAA Administrator Randy Babbitt unveiled proposed pilot fatigue rules. They include making it mandatory for pilots to have nine hours of rest between workdays, compared with eight right now. Pilots would also have the right to decline to fly without penalty if they're too tired. And took this crash to make them reactive because they're not proactive. Robin Tolzma and Jennifer West, who lost their husbands when Flight 3407 crashed in Clarence Center 19 months ago, listened to the Washington, D.C. news conference by phone. They have been critical of the FAA for not acting fast enough on safety measures. I asked Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood about that. And, and can you explain... Uh, right now wh why these kinds of things take so long because uh, they take so long because there's a lot of people involved there, there's a lot of different stakeholders there's no, nobody agrees with that statement more than we do this has taken too long but given the fact that from the time the Colgan air crash and where we are today we're a lot quicker than any other administration in the history of the Department of Transportation. Yes, this is all a step forward. This is great. This is this is a great tribute to the 3407 people, but it's still not fast enough. It, just because we were vocal and would not go away, I believe that's why they're acting. And you know what? I, I, it's not still not fast enough for me because I lost my husband. The National Transportation Safety Board found that pilot error was among the chief causes of the Clarence Center crash and that pilot fatigue was an issue. The rules, now subject to public comment, are still months away from being final. Luke Moretti, News 4.